Here's the gun. Here's the gun. Here's the gun. Yeah, we found that. You're now live. Okay, we're live. We're live. That's good. That's good. Okay, hi, uh, John here. It's um, Wednesday today, the 3rd of November 2022. Now, I just wondered how I can bring in somebody. I'll just have a look around to see if I can. I don't know. Right. I can. Okay, never mind. I'll just do it by myself. Okay, <coughs> I hope you can hear me. I've got my mic here, my new mic. Actually, the same, same piece on that came up the uh, um, microphone. Okay, what? Microphone here, that one. There. So I don't know if it's coming through all right, but I'll just try that and we'll see how we go. So um, I just want to get up to speed with the. Uh, court hearing for Saturday at uh, 8 o'clock New Zealand time, 8 p.m., uh, and um, 7 a.m. in UK, and 9 a.m. in Greece and uh, EU, Euro Europe. Um, so we're just catching up from last Saturday's, um, uh, last Friday, uh, the 28th um, of October, the Declaration of Independence Day. So we've had a, a, um, a good spread of what happened there with videos, uh, videos from myself and uh, Awaroa Native Magistrate Court in Helensville and what the plan's supposed to be. Um, Gregory Cook is supposed to be running the court hearing in um, Okiato or Kororareka Russell <coughs> at the same time after the five o'clock um, raising of the flag on the uh, Mikey Hill in Russell and um, so that would take about an hour and they did a good job there with the putting the uh, um, crown and anchor of King William IV and uh, Ernest Augustus V, the, uh, uh, the, the legitimate king that should be on the throne and not Charlie and um, it's going to look a bit bad on the side of the Queen's Crown um, and their legitimacy to the throne. Um, so he's not really um, an, an official king yet. And uh, where the problem is in New Zealand is that the government here has no connection to Britain at all. And they've cut off and not swearing to the Queen of England. They only um, have their corporate Queen and uh, a Maori chief, just a picture in, in the court and in the parliament, and that's it. It's, it's got no meaning other than their own private corporation, offshore um, company, that's nothing to do with you or the government or, or the parliament of the people. It's just their business that they're running, and we don't like what they're doing, so we're making <coughs> plans to... Uh, uh, link everybody uh, with the native title to the land that the government doesn't have. They, doesn't, they don't have any British connection to the flag they're flying as a whakaputanga flag that uh, on the 28th they put the flag up as, as the trustees of the uh, Haratu Marae and the Kororareka Marae. Um, they've got the key um, for, for the uh, flag to go up the pole. And uh, so it looks like they put the flag up, but then Gregory Cook was there with the uh, Confederation of Chiefs. Um, um, that's the British side of the flag. That's the legitimate side of a contract with that flag. And the Whakaputanga does not have a contract because it's legislated out in 1902 when the flag changed from the 1830, 1834 founding of New Zealand flag that we're sticking by because once the king gave the flag or it was in the letter in 1831 um, that started off the first contract with the king, King William and the 13 chiefs and then that flag was approved on the, on, on the, on the in 1834 so that 
tied in with the first contract to um, to uh, those 13 chiefs and nobody else. It had nothing to do with anybody else. It was the letter that completed the king saying, yes, we approve of the flag. Let's give terms in. So it took them three years to choose the flag. And those 13 chiefs chose the flag and said to the king, yep, this is the one we want. So that still linked without extra signatures to the first contract <coughs> which King William fought. So that's the first and second party that I'm sticking to on a contract of uh, commercial real estate. And that's what I'm doing, the commercial real estate contract law of Britain, UK. So you can separate that, leave it by itself with that flag. It's locked. Anything after is locked out, locked out of that contract, so you can't touch it, you can't touch it. So what happens next is the second contract came along with 34 chiefs that signed the 1834 after the fact that the king approved the flag, um, the first contract, and the second contract signed 34 chiefs, and that was really designed to make the declaration, but you didn't need a declaration of independence because the, the first one in 1834 was um, um, a sovereign nation state of its own independence already. It could do anything it liked and self-govern um, as its own state with Britain finished. That was, that was the end of it. That was completely the end of it. Then mysteriously the government here put their missionaries together and they designed to make to make the com the uh, um, declaration of independence of 1835 so you had 1834 a second contract of the chief signing again to make the declaration of independence third contract that's um, that's that created that, see, they, they created the 1835 Declaration of Independence for the 1840 Treaty. So they did a bit of planning, the, the churches, for their own title to their own selves and separated from Britain as a private corporation from Australia. So they bodged up, they bodged up the, the uh, Declaration of Independence and, um, and to, uh, to the 1840 Treaty um, as a separate contract to the crown, the big crown in England, so they could run their little crown like all the other countries do. They have their own little crown, and they pay the big crown for the use of the crown um, 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 British laws that they can carve up. They carved all the laws up to make legislation. So w when they got their legislation together, they legislated that flag is took right from 1835, 1840, it took from 1840 to 1902 mm. to legislate that flag out, the, the Declaration of Independence flag out, and put in their own 1902 Union Jack flag. So that cut, uh, cut off the, the, the usefulness of that king's flag. The king would never cut his own flag off to make it less of Admiralty, it became Vice Admiral of the Union Jack flag in the sea. Why take away a dry land flag that you don't have courts, you don't need to, and put a sea flag on the land after the fact of the King having more power as Admiral of the fleet over everybody in the world with a King's flag and the highest law that made the law in the first place so then you've got this 1902 flag that's been running right up right up to now in their own crown system of, of Queen and Right of New Zealand. That's their own corporation separate from the real Queen in England. And then all of a sudden now you've got lots of Maori in, in Parliament and they're really running everything, the Maori. With, with the, now they've, they've picked up that flag that they legislated out 
and they're flying it around with their Union Jack two flags. This is how dumb they are. This, this is how thick they are. They're getting into trouble legally with us, the Confederation owners of that flag, legally with the with the instruments to go with it. <coughs> and they're playing with it to fool everybody that they can just reach back to 1835 Declaration of Independence and call it the Whakaputanga flag for their little private corporation crown and they they cut the Maoris off in the first place from their treaty claim that they could not go back to 1835 or before 1840. That's why me and Mohi Manika, we got turned down with all our great history that you're looking at now, that's better than anybody else's history here. And they, they flagged it off, this little crown here, flagged it off. And we, we couldn't win in their courts, we couldn't get anywhere in their courts. So, I thought, right, the lawyer said, the Maori lawyer says, John, the flag is no good, it's not legal, you, you get nowhere with the Maori government and what you're doing with the flag, waste your time, you have to get it legal. So then I went to England to try and make it legal and go and see the parliament, but then that barred me from, from going there. The second time I went to England, because I was a threat. I was a threat. No, it wasn't me. It was a document with a threat, not me. And so here we are now. We're, we're saying to the government here, who the hell gave you the authority to use that flag? And it's legislated out. You see, I'm, I'm writing to them. I've, I've given them 29 weeks this Saturday, 29 weeks to answer me and the king's authority ownership of that flag with the documents and the seal and and the crown and anchor of the real king that Gregory Cook took up the hill and I, I didn't know he was going to do that with that flag and, and do, do things like that. I didn't know because we didn't have it on our agenda. But however, he did it and uh, forgot about the land title in the native court that got left behind. Anyway, that's, that's why we, we're, just, we're just talking about the flag. Who owns the flag legally? Who's using it illegally? And who's going to end up in trouble with it legally? It's going to end up in trouble because at the moment, the government and the, the iwi trustees are in this court. They are tied into this court. They can't move. It's like a hinaki that you got an eel trap. Well, it's not an eel trap. It's a snake trap for snakes and, and pirates. And they can't get out. They're just locked inside with all these seals around them and, 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 and crown and anchor and, and flags around them. And they can't do anything about it. So anyway, we're looking at two flags. I've got it on my website and on Facebook, the two flags crossed over like that, the Union Jack flag and the um, what they're calling the Whakaputanga flag, which is really a counterfeit forgery of the Confederation of Chiefs native flag, you see? If it was a Whakaputanga flag, the king would have said, I give you a Whakaputanga flag and just rubbish my king's flag and call your flag Whakaputanga and Whakameninga for your government over there, um, but I didn't do that. I, I didn't say to do that and deface my flag. I gave it to chiefs who had more sense in their head that it was a business flag for me and those native chiefs and their ships and nothing else. You weren't to do this and that to, to it, to change its status because you nullify the, 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 the use of the flag, but anyway, it's legislated out, and if they wanted to use it legally, they had to legislate it back in and legislate the, the 1902 Union Jack flag out. But they can't touch that flag. They can't tamper with it because it's locked on the 20th of March, 1834. There, right, right there, it's locked from 1831, later. And that's why nothing happens with that flag. They're just fooling you people. 
they're fooling everyone in New Zealand to think that they can go back to 1835 when they cut the Maoris off from going to beyond 1840 with their treaty claim <coughs> and now they're playing around with the flag all of a sudden it's come out of nowhere and got Whaka Putanga across it. Now what does that make the, the Ngāpui up north think when they call us Whaka Putanga up there with their Whaka Mininga that's still trying to make a ge Maori government um, under the term Maori and so um, I, 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 I see more problems with Maori because that's a patent ownership word of this little town in Wellington that's playing around with Maori and using Maori to go in a co-government government with their Union Jack flag but not with the Whakaputanga flag because they can't use it. It's mischievous and it's illegal, highly illegal and treasonous. They're in breaking all the laws of the laws that they crunched up and legislated out the usefulness of laws, what laws are made for, for, for the people and not for politicians and private owners. They're all in trouble. All the corporations here are in trouble. All the businesses that are milking what the government has put together for their own corporate businesses, including all those corporate businesses inside the government, like the police um, police um, corporation business. They got they got the New Zealand police have got their own corporate private company. You see, they've got all different private companies, and they are all in trouble with this confederation. Just this little bunch of us, ten of us, and and the flag, and and the flag, and who's got the use of it legally? I'm just saying that the the government here is not telling you people, the Maori out there, you're going to wake up, the people in New Zealand are going to wake up that they're just fooling around and if you turn yourself over to the native and the British and cut yourself off the Maori in the government, those Maori, if not the Maori outside because they're powerless, all the Maori outside are stuffed, they, they can't do anything about it because They've given over their consent by flying the flag around as a whakaputanga and, and even the Ngāpui up north in the Whakamininga, they're flying their flag for the government of Wellington and the Timor Dillon. And we've caught them in the Hinaki. Check the plate and check the flag plate and the documents and they grabbed all the documents like that and start using my documents but people know where they come from they know who's telling the story about the flag and what you can and can't do, you see? So there, that's, that's what's really happening. All I want to do is to uh, talk with those chiefs that went up to see me up at um, Kororareka, Russell, and uh, I was in Aoroa, that's where the main bank is. I, I, I wouldn't go up north when I knew it was at risk of Ngāti Whātua in Kaipara um, and putting a flag in, in on the ground and claiming the bank at Awaroa. That's the main one there. And I wanted them to gather. I, I, I told Gregory, can you run the native court? And he said, yes. And so I said, right, you, you just pick up what I'm saying, read what I'm saying, and see how we go. See, see how we go. So it was going good, eh? It was really going good. He, he understood everything, all how the admiralty work and all of that. And um, it was just a matter of him. Un, un, um, he's taking his instructions from me, from this our Royal Native Court, and also from what my experience is on how all this jigsaw puzzle goes together. And every bit of it, it, it will work. Uh, properly if he did his job and I did my job in a native court. I told him get the land title of who bought the, the property where the Okiato native court was and then I'll put that with the overall one 
and do the court hearing at the same time and live stream it. He's supposed to live stream at 10 o'clock, tune in to me where the authority is and the bank and with me, the president of the Confederation of Chiefs. So he's like an apprentice learning what to do in a native court. And all of a sudden, it's changed. I thought, now we'll see how the flag goes up because I, I've got my agenda and he's got his agenda or, or itinerary for, for the native court up in uh, Opiato or Kororareka. So anyway, we put notice on the trustees um, to uh, stand out of the way and not to let the Governor General go there. And mostly I put the writ warrants and the decree and the, and the, um, the, the Confederation's uh, authority right over the top of them. And then Gregory just put the notice from him and the Admiral, which, which has got a lot of power as well. The Admiralty um, is, is something that he's familiar with, but the trouble was he ma put all his effort in the Admiralty and forgot about the flipping native title and, and, and uh, to get the certificate or give me the name of the, the people who bought the property with so I can flip the thing at the same time and get them signed um, next day. That's what I said, I'll be up here on Saturday at 10 o'clock to have a court hearing there, live, and to sign the document. So anyway, he, he, he marches up the hill with the, with the three flags. I had no problem with that, but I didn't know that was going to happen. You see, I, I, it's not on my agenda. I would have put it in the document and written it up and told everybody about it. So anyway, he took that on his own shoulders to put Ernest Augustus uh, in on the throne, that's why I've already written it up that I'll legislate, uh, legislate Ernest Augustus on the throne, and then we all all go get behind it. But he 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 went through a lot of uh, a lot of uh, trouble and expense to get those big flags done, which which was good. But then I I I didn't approve of of doing that in the court. In, in, in the main court, that's that's the secondary court, to the business. That's not where the business is. The business is down in Awaroa Bank. You see, so so anyway, he got the flags up there and made the statement, but it upset a lot of people because they didn't know what that founding anchor flag was with the British flag and the um, um, Confederation flag. We call it the Confederation flag of Britain, that's a native title, that's fixed, that's fixed. No one can touch it, no one can argue with it, or you'll get in trouble if you, if you do that. And so, uh, so anyway, he, he did all of that. I'm just telling those people who might be confused by what happened there, is that I had written all this up for a long time, that, that even got a website on Facebook just for King Ernest Augustus V. And uh, so um, Gregory has fo followed all the history of what I've been doing all along and uh, picked it up and ran off with it, but forgot about the native court. And the native court was left high and dry with everybody wondering wh what's happening with the native court. Where am I? So it's supposed to link up with Andy Devine, who's British, and they're all watching because he's our partner. That's what I went to England for to join up the other end with this end and he's the one that understands flags better than anybody else and uh, anyway he he knew what our plan was to put them both together and he would live stream me <coughs> I live streamed at our raw but when it came to 10 o'clock I saw no no Gregory I thought that's funny he should be ha he should be linked in to us um, in our all, the, the the main the main executive um, is 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 where the business is, and the banknotes and everything like that's going to kick off. So uh, people missed out on that, but although he did a good job on the founding anchor and putting the three flags together, I got no trouble with that. I, I had no trouble 
with what he did on his own, on his own, and, and using his own intuition, but the execution of it was not good. The whole exercise with the community and Ngāpui and us was not good. And that's what I'll be talking about on Saturday, but I'll let you know that now, before Saturday, that um, Gregory wanted to uh, Zoom with me and uh, with, with us, and he can explain himself what the damage has done. The damage has been done, and the executive is not very happy. That's what I want, that's what I make on this video, because it didn't go how it was planned. And um, um, anyway, I make that public because you're supposed to see all of this up there on camera. It's supposed to be beaming to the whole world to show them how to do a native magistrate king's bench court and be successful. The only thing missing, like I said, was the native court itself at 10 o'clock that day, where it's supposed to be live streaming with me talking for four and a half hours straight of all the laws in the flag, the instructions how to use the flag, and who's got ownership of it, with all the instruments that go with it. I was going to wrap the whole of law and the proclamation to Britain <coughs> as all together as natives of the land here and in the world. Watch this, because that flag is not just for here. It's going around the world, so you've got to know all of that. On top of that, you've got to know the Freemasons who got the certificates and put them together and surveyed the whole land and their stake in the crown. You've got to know all that. And then you've got to know real estate, the transfer of land, all, 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 all the land information stuff on their transfer of titles in Wellington and the land, land office. And then you've got to know the British land transfers and two different land transfers and try and sort out which, which end are you on, which, which end, are you in the Maori land court title, or are you on the European title here for New Zealand, not Britain, or are you in the British titles where I am at, with the natives. So there, you've got different parts of the puzzle, and if you've got them one wrong, you're in trouble. You're really in trouble. And because Gregory's got one part of it, He's only got the admiral from the land, from the sea to the land, and that's that. That's all that is. It's got no other part to it but just to come on the land and put the flag down for the king. See? And then he's saying the king is not here. The king didn't need to be there. He's doing his job, supposed to be setting up the native magistrate king's bench court. Don't worry about the king, you just worry about the native court. So you had no native court hearing in Napoli. And I saw somebody talking, wa watching it on, 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 um, on the, the Zoom live while, while the flags were, were going ahead in the morning. She was, she, she was, or whoever that person was, was watching me um, doing the 5 o'clock in the morning proclamation from Awaroa. Uh, that was that one, and then later on, 10 o'clock, that's when the four, four and a half hours, you missed out on that, but it's on my website, and I ain't going to do it again, because that's it, it's finished, it's all that you missed out on a live from me, that would have been me beaming to you up in Napoli, and all around the country, and the world, and the camera should have been rolling up there, the camera should have been rolling, that's what we set it up for, and it's disappointing that I never was beamed out in speakers and, and um, um, Dion, Dion um, Walker, um, he's the one that plays the music for us, he was going to go up there, but he changed his mind and came up to our all because that's his papa papa and that's his story and he takes over after me. He's taking over from me to keep Mohi Manukau's story going and the Moriori story and also the Ngāti Whātou, the real side of the Kapuru title and the, uh, and the history that he was wanting to get on his land. He's never been get on his land. Now he can get on his land with the right native title. So there, he, he come that way with his sound system, set it up with us 
and didn't go up to uh, Porto Alegre. And the other guy, Donovan, he went he went up to it. I thought he was coming to Awaroa, but he went straight to the Whakaminia. You see, that guy brought the other fellow from the Whakaminia over to Porto Alegre because they knew I was going to be there on Saturday, not the Friday, the Saturday, to listen to who they pick as chiefs because I get to pick them because nobody knows how the King's Bench Court works properly. They don't know all of it, only bits of it. They haven't got the whole key to the whole thing to make it go. So that's why I won't pick a chief that may know too much, but not the right thing. I'll just rather pick the right surname, and that's all it needs to make the doc documents legal. I don't need a whole bunch of people that don't know how it works. What's the use of putting a chief in there and don't know how it works? You see? Now, this um, Te Atiki, Philip Te Atiki, he's a native assessor, so he knows how the whole um, um, thing works in the Maori world. So he flipped out of it. He flipped out of the Maori world and jumped here and stuck his name straight on, on the native title and did that. That solves that problem, and he's an indigenous surname. And then the other one, um, Reg, Reg uh, Manukau, no, it was mysterious how he came along and was booting us off the land. And then uh, I took a long time to talk to him, to tell him I'm only there for the Manukau family and for Mohi Manukau in the Confederation of Chiefs that started up that side with his Rogan judge family. And, but no Manuka knows any of this, so they're still Maori-fied. They're still in the Maori world and can't get out of it. So they've got to stay there, all the Maori people, you've got to stay there and live it out till the government switches it off and you've got no more Maori left but yourself. And all the land is sold of Maori, that Maorika, but not the native side. The native side is still intact. And that's where we go back to square one. So all the people who, who, are, who are reading these 28 documents and videos that are put out, if you want to change to native, out of Maori or European or anything else, it's a safe bet. I can, I can guarantee you that it's the safest bet than going to the United Nations and the WEF horrible people that is going to screw you right out and have nothing and be happy. You've got that option with, with the Whakamini on the other side and the government, Jacinda Durden, talking to each other and playing with the Whakaputanga, which has got no legal effect in it. It's just useless. It's useless flying that flag when the power is on the British side. See? So, so there, you'll soon see you'll soon see what happens next. So far, so good. It's going bang on in a confederation business um, um, as far as whoever's looking after us on saying don't touch those documents, and it'll come out on top uh, once we sort out um, with this Saturday on um, which way Nahui is going. The, 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 it's still confusing, even coming from the Whakaminia that they came over on the Saturday, and we had a, a hui there, and I had to explain, um, because Gregory ordered me to explain. So I've never been ordered around before, but that was not cool to order the teacher around, the apprentice order the teacher around, and explain myself as a king. I just said to the people, I'm not a king. I may sound like a king of the documents, but I ain't a king and I'm not going to be a king with a crown on my head. I've got the Moai crown. That's the king of my God's law, L-O-R-N-2. That's my king is God that created this heaven and earth and universe. So there, I don't have to be a king of anything. It's just natural and that's all I do. Natural law <coughs> and a king law to make money out of. So that's all that saying is corporation flag that's created with corporation law to make money to develop land and business. That's all it is. 
and that's what I'm doing. Both law, King's law, man's law, L-A-W, and Maui law, L-O-R-E, truth. That's higher than anything else in the world if you tell the truth. You see? You see? So on the other side, the little liar is, is how they, they, they don't like truth. They always lie, that little, little, little bitch liar that's uh, not going to get away with it. Her photo is there, and it's in, it ain't going nowhere, and she's going to get caught soon, as soon as the people know the truth of all this hidden secret, and, 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 and know that they've been screwed all along. I'm expecting all the people to flip over to NATO, then go down to Parliament and pull them out by the hair. Pull them out by the hair and tie them up in front of everybody and then go and lock them up after that. That's what I'm expecting all the native countries in the world to do. Once this native title is shown how it really took all your land off you, native born on the land. So if Gregory did his job like how I told him to, ordered from the court, we wouldn't be in this sort of trouble like we are now arguing about where the hell is John, you know? Where, where the hell is he? I know where I am. I know where I'm supposed to be. And I, I'm just waiting for Gregory to do his part and to make a good example of Ngāpui so that Ngāpui know where the key is. But it didn't happen. It just didn't happen. And my crew is not very happy about that, but I'm not going to go on about it. I'm just telling you so that we can talk about better things on Saturday. And where to next? That's what I'm saying. Gather all your wits together, and once I get two more signatures, get behind it, then go and get this parliament and government out off the native land. That's how you do it. And then everybody else who's supposed to be watching on that day how a native court works powerfully with the right flag and whose use of the flag to do the work before it's lost, before it's lost on the other side of Waitangi there that are giving consent to the government to use that flag but it's no good because it's not going to work really because it's legislated out and you can't play around with it because it's a contract that doesn't belong to you, it belongs to us. Okay, that's, that's what I'm saying. It belongs to the native born people of New Zealand and around the world because that flag went around the world and this little skimpy government down here took it around the world through Britain. Give, give the consent through the, through the trustees at Waitangi. Those are the people we have to go after. They're the ones that put the photos in. They are the worst enemies of you people in New Zealand that they gave the consent to the Governor General. The Governor General gave it to the Queen. The, this is the Queen's stuff. The Queen gave it to Biden in, in America and, and the Queen gave it to the Vatican. They shared the power of that King's flag because it's higher law than anybody else that you know of because the Kings made it. The Dutch Protestant King made the Corporation, Municipal Corporations Act to collect the rent off the land with the H-Flag stuff on that flag in the four corners of the earth, the world. So yeah, that's, that's really what I wanted to say about, about what happened so that you hear it from me and nobody else. <coughs> and so we can clear that out of the road, then get on with the next stage of with those those Ngāpui chiefs that that were there. I don't know how many there was because I got no information from Gregory or out of contact with him because he's been busy. It took a lot for him to, to do all of that and thank all those people who helped him and those people who helped him that got booted out and complained to me, rang me up and, and told me all their troubles and crying in the middle of it. Everybody was crying. And that's not cool for Ngāpui, not cool at all. So we have to see what he has to answer to what I'm just saying now. But I was very disappointed 
and really, really not happy with a reception we got when we got there. It's, um, it's apart from the job he did, um, I had no problem with him taking the flags up the hill like that, but it's before its time. It's supposed to be on the 20th of March, 2023. That's our day of, of the, n the founding of New Zealand, but prematurely, it's, it's noticed on the government and the trustees and Britain that those flags that went up are real to boot Charles off the throne because he's corrupted. The whole Rothschild bank system of corporations under the Pope and, and the Pope got rid of the corporations and trust because he knows it's rubbish all along. Everything the Queen touched is fraud. So we're taking the whole lot over with the pound notes, right over the whole lot of with that 970 million shilling shilling pound notes on the new Prime Minister of Britain, uh, Shinak, um, Rishi Shinak and his wife and uh, Suleiman, um, um, that, that woman that's um, um, secretary for the Commonwealth countries, and, and she didn't even answer to me in my letter to her, and nobody in Britain answered to my letter, none of them. So really, really disappointed with Britain because it's been controlled by the Rothschilds and the EU Parliament got them, the, themselves in Westminster Parliament. So we're going to dissolve that lot, ditch the whole lot with the same as, as New Zealand at the same time when we get this flag sorted out with Marjorie and, um, and um, what, they, what they're going to do about it and, 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 and the Whakaminia and uh, the young Whakaminia people that came over were quite happy with my explanation of, uh, of, of native magistrate court but I'm disappointed with Donovan because he come over to get a lot of the information from the native court and then gave it to the Whakaminia as if they can run a court over there. No way. They can never run a native magistrate King's Bench court. Nobody. Nobody in the world can do that without all the bits and pieces and the key to unlock the whole thing to make it work. You're not supposed to know all of this thing, but I'm telling the whole world today, I'm straight out. God's law is better than the man's law, and it prevails. God's law of truth prevails, and so that's what we knock everything out with. And our trust and our corporation is not touched by the Vatican and Pope. He can dissolve his own corporations, but he can't touch this King's Bay Corporation because it made him wealthy with the Admiral Morgan leading and bank um, from, from those instruments that I have lined up around these documents, locking them all together in contract with me in the first place and all the native people who want their own court, day in court in this system that I'm telling you um, how it works but I got let down by Gregory for not doing what he's told to do on native magistrate court with the land title so that Ngāpuhi can have their own native court claim <coughs> and, and Waikato has got this legal now. It's legal with two signatures and I got, I've got two uh, people, um, 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 Uti Tonga and Heke. Those two, I've got those two, and that's all we need now since we had a mess up up there. That'll save all those chiefs the trouble of coming to see me to put their names forward because really, unless you know what you're signing, there's no, no need for you to sign if you're not up to speed with how this British system works. So there, I don't want anybody signing something that they don't know anything about. Even if you knew a little bit of it, you could spark off the whole thing in the wrong direction and get the whole thing in trouble. That's what I'm not going to let that happen, especially with a Maori mainland there. Even that pihema, 
name that's on that grave site in Russell. That's the only Mary Lane block is a little bit of grave, grave site um, block with Pihima on it. Happens to be Palmer, a European. That's not a native. That's a white man. It's married into a woman, native woman, but in the native world, the man is always the ruler, the paramount chief, not a Ariki. We don't have Arikis in Britain. They don't have Arikis in Britain. That's over with Iriwanaka in, in, in the UN. You can call Arikis over there in Aotearoa that way, but Aotearoa goes the British way. See? You see the difference? Where you're going to get no money from the UN or you get a mortgage on the land, but you haven't got a native title to get a mortgage on the whole country. You need one title. And that's what's wrong with this government. They're trying to steal everything, and they're stealing things right in front of you. They're stealing this flag right in front of your eyes and flying it. They're actually flying it like that, two flags like that. Governments are only allowed one flag per country. This government here has got a brain like a sieve. It just thinks anything it wants out of thin air and tells you people, Oh, we got, we, we, we're, we're, in a, we're in a long time relationship. No, they killed it. This government here and those Maoris in there killed that flag. And now they're trying to cling like hell to it, like hell. You can go to hell because you ain't going to get it. So what you're doing, it's going to turn on your heads. It already has turned against you, mongrel bastards, for doing that to that flag, a king flag, sucked the guts out of it, then made your own little crown, which means nothing. It's not a real queen. But then you fooled everybody for over 180 years, and you're not going to get away with this flag by pulling it out and putting it up. Hypocrite. That's what you are. Hypocrite. Jacinda and all the Pakias in there are hypocrites that say one thing and then turn around and say another. You see? And saying things are safe when they're not safe. Your evil people are going to get this flag right over the top of you and bust the whole lot up right through the world. Right through the world when they get how this native court, magistrate, king court court works. Once you know how it works, use it. Use it. Because there's only six months to go. There's only six months to go, and it's all over. It's them or us. Well, while I'm living, it ain't going to be us going under. That's for real. That's for sure. So I'm going to read out what the uh, agenda for uh, Saturday, so that you can know what I'm going to talk about. It's getting right to the guts of it now. It's getting to the nitty-gritty, and it's getting people nervous the people that don't like truth and don't like these things coming up, I hear that NADO being taken to court, NADO Global, in, in the Kaipara, the, the Runama or, or Ngati Patua. See, they're going to start arresting. The, the people are going to go after those trustees. They're going to go after those trustees because they're the ones, the hapu, who've been sucking the living daylights out of the hapu pukapaka paka, and then screwing it up. They screwed the whole thing back to front and the cart before the horse. So here we are. We're going to um, um, the court hearing on Saturday at 8 o'clock uh, for New Zealand and uh, 7 a.m. 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. <coughs> and uh, uh, 7 a.m. for UK, Britain, and um, 9 a.m. for uh, Europe, Europe and and. Uh, uh, Greece, where Andy is, our host, and he's doing an excellent job, and he knows everything about the flag. So he's saying, John, no, you were right. We, we, we didn't follow the plan, as it was supposed to be having the two courts together. <coughs> and um, I feel sorry for Ngāpui because they missed um, a great opportunity there. But those little Whakamininas got it, and they took it to the big Whakamininas, and told them what happened. So I hope their thinking kept on to think what they're going to do because 
It's one or the other. And they're caught up. They're really caught up and can't get out of the whakaputa and say, that's going nowhere. It won't get them nowhere. And I'll tell you that much now. The king wouldn't say whakaputa or whakamininga. That's you in. That's going that way. You've got to go that way. You go that way then. But if you play around with their flag, you're gonna get you're gonna get the town no fun with a kid from Britain. Come that way. Because that's not what it's supposed to be called. Another contract. No, no, no. You can't do that, Lenny. You can't do I'm telling you straight out how law works and contracts. <coughs> contracts makes law and law makes contracts. When you say nothing and don't refute affidavits and especially live videos, then it becomes the law. Everything we did on 29 videos and documents on Saturday is the law of this country. I can tell you that right now, and there's nothing this government can do to go up against and put something better up than their plastic Maori and Pākehā on, on Pākehā Queen. Qu picture of a queen, if you looked at it, it looks like Queen Elizabeth, but really, it's just the head is stuck. It's really, really stuck. And you've, they've stuffed everybody's up. They've stuffed everybody's head up because they've got their own private interests and nobody else's financial investment interests at heart. they got nothing for you. Nothing, really nothing. This is the only way out of the whole rubbish, corrupted system that corrupted the king's good rule. The corporation, it belonged to the king. It would not go like that. They wouldn't go stealing memorials of other people's country and ma taking their, their cultural heritage away and destroying all the grave sites and everything. All that's going to stop. And they, they can go in the bloody grave sites and, 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 and bury themselves in it. And, and and give everything back. We get everything back for all the native people in the world watching this and taking notes of what we do and quickly learn how a native magistrate king's bench court works on your own native way of doing things and write your own laws like how I did write our own legislations to put on those other legislations in the government and put them out of business. That's what we're doing. We're bankrupting them and taking over the business that belongs to you people and not them. The whole government, the whole world. They've screwed the whole lot for themselves. So here we go. I'll just go to the, uh, um, I'll go to the uh, um, agenda. Court hearing agenda for Saturday 5th of November 2022. 1831 letter to King William IV, first contract. 13 native chiefs. I've got to check them out to make sure they're unique and not mixed up with Maori names and I'll soon find out. Um, <coughs> key phrases here are one, letter from the 13 native chiefs to King William IV says to choose a flag, one of three flags, first contract, chiefs and King William IV signed letter to the British Crown. That's it. That's the contract right there. And when the king says, pick a flag, so it took them three years to pick a flag, and they said, we found the flag, we got one. That's still the same contract. You didn't have to sign again un until something that was waiting for an answer from the king. So there, that's the only contract that I'm looking at. The, 18, the, the 34 chiefs that signed the flag when it became... Um, the, the founding flag of New Zealand as a sovereign nation state, those 13 chiefs didn't have to sign nothing. They signed it because it was told to them to sign for the Declaration of Independence out of the 1834 fresh flag. They didn't need a declaration because it was already a nation state. It just didn't need anything else to add to it. So there, I'll top it off. I'll top it right off there before those 34 chiefs sign it. And they signed it to put it into a Declaration of Independence, another contract, you see, a third contract that was designed by this Mongol 
missionaries and this corporate crown in Wellington, the little crown, for them their own private business. See, she is what done like that. And then the 1835 Samoa chiefs signed it. It was not the original letter. It was not the original letter that started the Concord Order. You see? So there, we got the 1835 third contract, more signatures all over the place. This one, that one, that one, and it mixed up with Pakeas and Maori families, all, all, all mixed up before long. It had signatures from all over the place. And it, it, that's not a contract. That, that's n when you sign a contract and sign another one, another one, another one, to reach its destination of an 1840 treaty, the fourth contract, it's fraudulent all the way through. It's frauded, defrauded the first contract right outright. I'll tell you that now. I'll tell you that right now, that the whole thing is a scam. The whole Rothschild thing that did that to those Dutch kings who put the law together for the people and the government in the parliament, the Rothschilds went into the parliament in Westminster and told them, we've got the money, we've got the pound notes, we took it off Patterson and took the bank off him, so we take the bank off him and the pound note off him and the digital currency off that new prime minister and bankrupt him with this pound note and the flag. The flag will bankrupt him with its king's power to take it back into the bloodline admiral of the fleet. And that's why Gregory went through all the trouble to put Ernest Augustus on the throne while he's, he's really putting his mark as an admiral on, on putting the crown anchor up there as a fresh king, a fresh king on the throne and our, our orders from the court, orders from this original court to put him straight on the throne when Napu, um, those two chiefs sign. Once those two chiefs are picked, signed, then it's going up. It's, it's going straight to Westminster to bang this whole government out and, and put, put Chuck Charlie off the throne because he's got nothing. He's got no admiral history of making all the corporations. He just stole the whole lot and make war with that flag. It's a war flag for anybody who gets in the way of our business now. Now, from now on, that flag will go after you if you get in the road of this contract. Anywhere in the world, in all those 250 countries that we've got this flag for now, with Britain first and us contract between those two. That's where the contract is, between those New Zealand, where it is put here in safety so that it won't get taken over by pirates and thugs that steal and use guns to protect everything they stole, including Israel, is stolen. I can say that flat out. The Rothschilds illegally owns Israel, and I'm going to get it back to the Palestinians that their native land. You see, the natives will get everything back with a king's bench court magistrate. You see, so there, they got a problem there because they have mucked the law that they got their wealth, and so you can take all the wealth back off them because they broke the law of kings and God's law up there too. You see, God's law and king's law. They've made those the authority of, uh, of where they get their wealth and gold and everything, all the gold, everything, every single thing. That's what this flag is, every single thing. And these Maori can't care. Their site is just in front, just to the Maunga, to the river, and to the, the edge of the sea. And, the and that's it. That, that's, why, that, that's how far they see. Just in their little areas of their happy area, but all the other people that have got businesses here don't think like that. They just want the land to make business. That's all they want, and it's never going to change. It's not going to change. That's the way the things go now. You need money to buy things and to get, get houses and all that. We don't have mortgages. I'm getting rid of the mortgages. 
because I've been a mortgage broker with the National Bank in, in my time, <coughs> in another one of my trades. And so I'll do all of that sort of thing, real estate, all that sort of thing, engineering, all that sort of thing, and pass the skills on to others who want to learn everything in one shot. If I had a class, they'll learn very fast how to do the flag. You see, how, how, to, how to do the flag, not like how Georgie Jobs does it. Just pick this up, like take the, pick this up and run with it. And hope to hell that one little piece of the puzzle works. Well, it doesn't work like that. You need all the bits. You need all the bits. And you have to prove where the hell you get your authority from and your jurisdiction to fly that flag. See? Where the hell are you getting the authority from? Who 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 gave it to you? Who who gave it to the Fakamini? The the jurisdiction and the authority to use that flag to change it into a Fakapukan flag. Who who the hell gave it to you? Ask yourself that before you think the next day when you wake up. Oh, I think we got it wrong. You see? And the government were thinking, oh shit, we got it wrong too. So yeah, I'm just telling you, you all bloody got it wrong. See, you never learn what a flag does. Really powerful flag in the world. The most powerful flag in the world, and you didn't know because it didn't come with instructions. I just gave you the instructions on the 28th. I read them out. And the seals, all out, where we get our authority from to fly that flag legally. You see? No, no one can do that. They just pick it up and fly it like that and hope the bloody hell it works. Well, it doesn't work. It won't work for you, and this government it won't work for you either because you can't stick yourself to the native title. You see? With a title higher than your one. Happens to be in Britain with the king. <coughs> Not the wrong king. And Charlie's got nothing like this. His family got nothing like this. They don't have all this thing because they don't know. All they know is steal. They stole my Maui statue. They stole all everybody else's statue and their memorial, their own cultural heritage. They stole the bloody thing. The Pope stole the pyramid, stole the, stole the obelisk, stole everything. They, they're no good. Their churches are no good. Uh, better to have no church and just the Maui. Go straight up. And, and, and goes, that's where I, my power comes from. It comes straight up like that. No Bibles, mate. None. You don't need it. You don't need all that because it's brainwashing you. I, I don't have to brainwash anybody. They just need to see what happened when you just got you and God. And that's it. No, 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 no drumming people's heads and picking money off them and collection plates and things. None of that. No roof on your head. Just straight out anything. Now, why do people do that? Why don't they go back to where, who created the universe? It wasn't the Pope. He's going out there to look for another world. We already got it. Mahe Mahe, planet, round dwarf planet, right at the end of the universe. That's already in our whakapapa with Easter Island and the Maui statue. And I see more interest in the Maui statue now because it's coming out where they hidden the bloody thing this government and the Queen hid away the Maui and commercialized it. That's why I'm going commercial with Maui as our seal because she did all that trust with it. She set up the trust with it and all the wealth that Maui has and all the Maui that have been stolen and put in the powerful countries in the world. They got the Maui there because it gives them good luck and wealth. That's what the, that's their meaning. That they mean well for us. It doesn't mean that. It just means family and 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 tribes together to pray straight up to God and they bless the the sea and don't rape the sea. They just take enough. But these Pakia, they want to use the Maya for a title to strip the whole sea. We don't do that in our culture. We don't strip it. We, we, we've got a tidal turbine project now to regenerate the fish in the sea. All the trawlers and all those people, Pākehā, 
they go and strip the whole place out till there's nothing and sell the whole lot to make themselves wealthy. All of that's going to go. Anybody that's got corporate business now is going to get this power made right over their property, even in New Zealand. All those corporate companies, they're going to share the bill, the 970 million trillion trillion pound note. I'm just warning you. I'm just telling you right around the world, you're going to get it that way. And those people, the native people on the land, it's going to go after them. They're going to knock on all your doors and check your title because this King's Bench Court gives you the power to go and do that. Do you see? You better learn quick. You better learn, well, where did I get up to? Yeah, I'm, 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 I've forgotten about this. Um, that's number two, choose one out of three flags. Second British Crown, contract sign approved, trading bank, flag, sovereign nation of individual natives of their lands, King William Court approved, choice of eight point star of St. Patrick with his black shield protectorate <coughs> for bank trade business New Zealand to UK British British Crown Corporation flag that's what it is, it's a corporation flag contract and founding jurisdiction landowners of their individual sovereigns of their lands of New Zealand locked in statute law forever Native Confederation of Chiefs Partnership, 20th of March, 1834. And Native Confederation of Chiefs Partnership, oh, I'll just read that. Fixed and did not need a declaration of independence as they were already separate sovereign states in 1834 self-governing in Kōrā Reka Okeato Native Magistrate Court. Ready to go into business. Chiefs and King William Four contract country in order, second British Crown contract sign. So we're the second partner and the British are the first partner and that's the end of it. No other contract. That's it. That's it. No need to look at any other signatures. They're all secondary and they were all leading up to this little mongrel parliament and government corporation. That's what it was leading to. They designed it and then they killed, murdered King William IV. That's what they got a they got a trait of doing is assassinating people to get to the power. After all the hard work he did, they just robbed them. Now we're going to strip the whole bloody lot of them for doing that to King William IV and taking his title and switching the King Ernest Augustus out. That's why we're sticking Ernest Augustus back in so that the people can have the power of the corporation, the King's Corporation, and it will go smoothly. I can assure you, I can guarantee you, it will go back to normal, where the common law will teach us, and the law is put back in place, where the people control the law and the parliament. We don't need a parliament, we just have a straight government. There's no need for parliament, we don't need bouncing from one side to the other, like, 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 um, uh, like uh, Westminster. We just get rid of the whole lot and just have one government. One, like the, they're trying to do with a one world government. We are the one world, new world government. You see, when we get this sorted out with this one king's land, we, we become a new world order government of all the natives of the world. And they will love us. Three, Declaration of Independence to King William IV, not for the second contract, but for Queen Victoria New Zealand Crown, third contract with another bunch of native chiefs, not a second contract of native chiefs fixed to King William the Fourth original contract to the British Crown, but a totally new contract of the Rothschilds 1835 Declaration of Independence, third contract. That's what the Rothschilds, they, they got a hold of that, and they designed all of this with this little Crown government here, to hide everything here. They're in charge of New Zealand and, 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 and what they do to control the hapu, the iwi and the trusts to shut them out and follow what the, the Rothschilds say. The Rothschilds 1835 Declaration of Independence third contract with King William IV British Crown and Native Chiefs designed to make a new 1840 Treaty of Waitangi Queen Victoria 
British Crown contract out of the second six contract, 1832 of play, you will switch from ownership of the native title first contract that can't be tampered with or lowered this flag to the ground, partnership, some of the um, uh, partnership, conflict of interest with the Queen's native chief third contract. So there, a lot of contracts have been put together to switch the title out of the first contract. The fourth, four, number four, fourth contract was signed by the Rothschild family to murder King William IV to steal his British crown of his successor Dutch Protestant brother, King Ernest Augustus I, who was legislated out of King William IV's abdication to his brother, next brother, successor to the British throne, that the Rothschilds had control over Westminster Parliament and the Bank of England could take over exactly what is happening now to our King William IV flag with rogue Queen Victoria Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth II called Corrupted Crown, taking over our King's flag, but not so fast, because we caught you all in our Moai snake bait trap, Hinaki, using our flag contract as the declaration of war turned against you, because you are the fake Maori Takapitan flag that is not the original King William IV flag, but a counterfeit forgery using the pretend King William IV flag of no jurisdiction. When you've got two flags, one, a fake Maori tribe that's not native, not, not that, well, I can't read this, you might have got not a native corporation flag, you thugs legislated out of a sea flag, a 1902 Union Jack flag, you legislated in as your New Zealand flag that's not a corporation business flag and your counterfeit dreamed up Maori Whakaputanga flag is not gazetted in or given the royal assent of King Charles so it's got no legal jurisdiction but our King William IV flag is locked to Westminster Parliament with us, the native large confederation of chiefs contract legal document and unbroken sovereignty and advocacy to the King's Crown and Anchor Mortgage Lien Bank Native Lease Land Contract. Now terminate your New Zealand small crown Maori land title and boot you all off our native land because you can't produce the document where you got it from or your legal authority to Britain and there is no sign of Maori or Whakaputanga there to link your ownership to the Free Nations Native Land Title Transfer so you are trapped in this Native Magistrate Queensland Court so you can surrender now or face the pound note or hanging in chains act of this court. That's how serious we are. Maori and New Zealand Crown Titles Land where you got it from. Key phrases here are this is their excuse. Independent state is not native. Sovereignty too. Sovereign power and authority is not native. Not, n not, not permanent and legislative authority separate from themselves. Native. It's not native. Four. The King of England to be protector from all attempts upon its independence is not native. All of that declaration of independence stuff is not native. It's Maori that's been designed to mask over native, and that's a crime. And um, forging and forfeiting the, the, the native with a Maori word in their native, their, their Waitangi tribe on the reef or they'll snap shot and caught them. Fiddling around, fiddling around with British Parliament print and documents, and that's a big crime. Ma Maori, 1949, Native Land Court changed to Maori Land Court, so you got a lot of explaining to do in this British Maori Crown King William IV flag jurisdiction court law. You got no laws. New Zealand has no laws. And there, that's another problem that Maori are facing with this government 
and had the only legislation in a crappy old unconstituted constitution. It's not entrenched and it's flapping in the wind. It's flapping in the wind with no me measure, no, no challenge, no measure to our 1689 Constitution Act of King William III and his Bill of Rights Act 1689. Here, those two whopped on your head, you silly people in Parliament and you and Maori that's gone that way and can't do anything because we've got no legal native title. Six John Manama President of the Confederation of Native Indigenous Chiefs, uh, regional Manukau, Indigenous Native Moriori Manukau tribesmen, Philip Te Apiti, Native Assessor, Indigenous Native Waikato Chief, Blair Ingram is the Vice President, Business Overseer with me, Hone Mason, Spiritual Guide, Tohunga, Cecil Hood is the Bringer Business Administrator and Banking, Tracy Tewai Rayani, we real estate, contracts, business accounting, and whakapapa native records. He's very good at pulling whakapapa to bits and see who's on the land that shouldn't be there. She sorts all that out. And she's Kingy's partner. And she's got that to sort out. All those people who stole all their stuff is going to get something from her. And, and then they will catch up with them very soon. So there, that's all that's happened with her. And she's in charge of all the whakapapa. And she knows Ngāpuri whakapapa back to front. So watch out for that one. And I'm staying right out of the way with that one. <coughs> so we've got Cecile Hood. I would say that. We've got um, 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 Tracy's in charge of contracts business accounting, she's very good at that, real estate, very good at real estate, and whakapapa, native records. And then we've got Kate Baker, business ac uh, assistant, um, and we've got Charlie Amai, she's a business assistant, record keeping, birth, death and marriage records. So Kate will be in that second clip around between themselves, they're doing a pretty good job now, picking up very quickly. Um, how the whole system works and uh, British work. Philip Te Apiti, he's the Confederation of Chief Guide for the Executive Committee Legal Owners of that 1834 second contract, the King William first contract business. So there, he does all the native stuff um, with um, Philip Newton. Um, so they are they're in the business of making sure that the native title adds up to the commercial side of the native title and King William the Fourth flag. So they tie the flag to the land. That's them. They, they, I can do it, but they, they do it. That, that's, their, that's their portfolio. Mine is just to make sure everything goes well and, and act and keep things on track with the king flag. Um, 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 who's this? Um, Te Apiti, Philip Te Apiti, Confederation of Chiefs Guide for Executive Committee, legal owners of that 1834 second contract with King William IV flag business with the legal instruments of Scottish Freemason. So I'll be dropping a few hints on that side, the private stuff with Freemason, that no one else has access to these paper mortgage lien land transfer instruments that's caught the New Zealand Iwi Maori government criminal court itself that all of you native born people of New Zealand go down to Parliament with the native land title and yank them out of the building off the native land and lock them all up, all of the whole lot of them. Tough. That's the King's Law in action. Brutal on pirates. You can see controlling everybody with thin air politics and humbug illusion and myth dum party mahi. Take the mahi baboon. That's what I give a description of those people in there that are playing around with trebly level ideas. They take out of their heads 
and try to make that work on you, it's not going to work anymore. Any finish. No more. No more humbug. No more bullshit from that lot. Seven, I am in contact with two native Suriname chiefs who satisfy the British native land transfer title, 29 affidavit documents and 29 video affidavits for this Saturday, 5th of November 2022, Court Hill. Cecile Hood contacted these two men and I'll be in contact with one of them and then the other one will contact tonight on Wednesday 3rd, I'll contact them afterwards, 3rd of November 2022. All in the name of Moai Crown Court versus the New Zealand Humbug Crown of its self-interest with all these legal instruments on their heads. I will wrap it up on Saturday. What to do with Jacinda and her corrupt Maori Patea Pirate Government Parliament take direction, direct action to boot them off a native land because they don't have the native land title and they have no ownership of that legitimate confederation of native chief flag that we claim belongs to us the executive and the native chief documents of the contract. Eight, New Zealand government and Iwi Maori is mischievously flying two confederation flags of Paihua RSA Returned Services Army and now advertising propaganda, false information of the 1902 Union Jack flag and our 1834 Confederation of Native Chiefs flag that Sir William Paul gave to Native Chiefs and not to Maori of New or New Zealand government who legislated the Confederation of Chiefs flag out and legislated their Union Jack flag 1902 in as their humbug fake queen and Maori founding of New Zealand won't stand up in the World Court or United Nations because they have no clear in un incumbent native indigenous land title and first founding of New Zealand entrenched inside that confederation of chief flag ownership. So now you're all going to get your boot out because you failed to answer to the superior native King's Bench Magistrate Court and founding flag British contract flag that you don't swear your stupid ass to and have the gall to claim our flag as a counterfeit forgery flag as if the king gave it to Maori, shit no. And no matter what you say, you got no Sioux Nation land certificate stamped by Westminster so your bullshit is exposed and Napu is real pissed off with you. Maori, Patea, cheating, lying, thieving, needle poison, jabbing bastards, stealing our country, caught you, now lock you all up and seize all your property and belongings to pay for your corporate crimes, legally stuff you all up good and proper, pirates on the dry land, off the sea, no more bullshit. See what happens when you tell the truth? It all comes out. 9. Prime Minister of Britain, UK, and his wife on the court hearing Saturday with the corrupted Commonwealth Secretary thrown in and the Rothschild Bank bot and wife, all the 300 committee and Obama, Biden, Pelosi thrown in too with the Pope Motus Tokyo on top of them all with the big cow note on their heads when you take the Prime Minister Jacinda and Kido out with the King's native Chiefs flag contract legislated back into law over the country, trapped in our Hinaki snake trap, can't get out of this one. King Gregory explained his position to the executive response after he explained why the original plan changed from native court to admiralty flag, not discuss the plan for me to speak on the um, uh, uh, itinerary um, of Gregory on the 28th, 10, 10 a.m., what I was making the proclamation and legislation. Napui were waiting for from our Lord Bank, took four and a half hours straight. So that was not going to happen at Mighty Hill when Gregory spoke to turn the speakers up and sit and listen 
until a native court hearing is run from the original native court date of Delphi, not the other way around. And Gregory proposed to give me the owner of the block, land block, where the Okuyato courthouse was, so I can do both to stay on the, the same day. All I had to say, so now I need those chiefs to call me direct, direct, after Saturday the 5th of November 2022. So I'm giving you a week to give me a call directly so I can see who was interested. But but I found a heke and a utu tonga man to make the native title legal. There as our Awarua native title is legal now as far as the Confederation of Chiefs is concerned, administered from Awarua Native Magistrate Kingston's Court where the orders went to Gregory to manage the Native Magistrate Kingston's Court in Torarareta. But we have problems with the court now in public, but not video to the world. I expected on the 20th of November 2022 with Andrew Devine and myself, the orchestrators of the whole British UK Crown Confederation of Chiefs 1834 flag jurisdiction story. I wanted live on Facebook up at Kodorareta, YouTube for all native countries in the world to watch how a native court hearing is legally conducted. Didn't happen to Mahu as I expected. I had to explain to young Whakaninina where the problem breakdown was and I didn't plan it that way for all these years of faultless operation as a matter of human error that killed the whole idea of native land title return to native people of New Zealand in Mahu was not followed through with the process I prepared and planned with Andrew Devine and his British people building confidence in the solutions I bring to all people of New Zealand and the world where the flag has gone and changed its status for the wrong reasons of the King's Corporation Pirate and not the King's Corporation Corporation locked in that flag to 1834 founding of New Zealand, second contract flag, partly overtaken by the Maori Whakaputanga flag, third party, 1835 signing contract, declaration of independent country, when it was already sovereign nation state with the first 13 chiefs in 1831 and next 34 chiefs in 1834 blocked the contract to Britain, UK Britain, separate from the fourth contract, 1840, 500 chiefs is out of the question of King's flag ownership in continuity of sovereignty and admiral of the fleet flag jurisdiction overrules the Queen Victoria Rothschild Bank contract of where they get the authority from is our King William III, King George III, King William IV flag jurisdiction and legal law authority over their legislation of parliament sovereignty lock you out. I put the legislation to put the legislation in Westminster out. Put the whole lot out, them and New Zealand both at the same time on the 28th. And so that was what all that was about. And I was going to do it where the bank is and not up at Kodorareta where there's only a flag, no business. The business is in Aorua and Hawaii. Uh, so I am disappointed, very disappointed, with the failure of the Okiato Native Magistrate Court, which I apologise to the people for, and uh, Gregory not carrying out the orders of the court and me, the President of the Confederation, and that's my ownership, ownership that I am rescinding the authority to Heke of, of the chiefs that were going to sign, to Heke and Ututonga chiefs, to teach them the native court law and follow the rules as I expected of Gregory not to go against me again is in the front of Nahu, a problem that I had to fix up the idea of bringing people together one last time and I noticed one person playing me talking on her mobile from Awaroa should have been at 10 a.m. at half pick a point paddock with video cover footage of this historic event that I advertised over the agendas on my website and Facebook. And now I need to tell the people who came up 
that they missed the four and a half hour video live with Andrew um, in Helensville beaming to the world watching like we caught in Waikato court in full flight at the same time so they can do the same as us but the moment was lost to another agenda that um, um, Gregory had uh, with the flag, the three flags was a, a god on its own achievement um, that I approve of what he did but I wasn't happy um, with not getting the most court important done um, ahead of what you had on your head in your own idea of doing that and jumping to the gun and, and, and putting all this disastrous up and that should have come from me and all that should have been organized it should have come to the main business court um, and not from from what you were doing with it without my approval <coughs> Robin um, New Zealand Crown has no legal standing with Britain UK and therefore can't legally usurp the Confederation of Chiefs 1844 founded in New Zealand as a sovereign nation on the 20th of March 1834 as fixed contract to Britain, not to New Zealand, to Britain, and you can't touch that. To this day, the New Zealand government legislated out. That's you. That's what you did, but not us. We still do it with it. When we, whenever we want to use it, now we're using it. The legislated out in 1902. So the Whaka Putanga is a dead flag of no jurisdiction to go back from the Maori 1840 Treaty of Waitangi Contract with King Victoria and King Richard II have no legal title to King William IV 1835 Flag Constitution or 1834 King William IV Contract with the 13 Chiefs. First contract letter as the Maori is not legal and has no claim to the flag native land title. Is why I chose Pui Pai and not a Maori surname on a British land title transfer instrument that Mohi Manuka was rejected by the little New Zealand private corporation government crown, but not anymore. Now he has the British clear and incumbent native land title transfer ownership of New Zealand country, proof of claim, and 1834 King William IV flag ownership with the correct whakapapa legal instruments that the Maori Crown Corporation government corrupted. Now give, give the, we boot them off the native lands with the native born people of the lands equally together, gather together to carry out this assault on the parliament once they all get these 424 pages of Maori Crown Court native land titles in their hands, downloaded and read and understand you are the legal natural native landowners who kicked them out into jail just in time, caught the snakes piles in committing acts of fraud, genocide, high treason, mass murder, forgery and counterfeit of your King William IV, 1834 Confederation of Native Chiefs flag, superior law and corporation that Pope Francis cannot touch or trample it on English soil land is our call to order martial law on these named photo identified proud pirate outright criminals including Pope Francis is a criminal fraudster and 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 lots more on top of it stealing the memorials of Africa and um, and, and 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 doing that to God and breaking the laws of of the real God and, and just for money. He's the one holding all the money. We're going to strip him of it. The whole lot of it because he got it through falsifying and defrauding the admiralty of Britain UK, which is us in partnership, in direct partnership with the highest authority flag of the king. Enforce the Moai title change patent to Kubar Crown Note and liquidate the Rothschild Crown Note and UK Prime Minister Rashid Sunak control digital currency money off the English native sovereign native lands and lock them up. So the natives of England, not Britain, 
England will do all this and storm their parliament with them as a party um, when they when they know what to do. I just ask them to do what they do. Once I do New Zealand, then the executive will take over and then I'll do it from here. I'll do any country from here and set them up and that won't take long. It's very quick. No makaran. Hearing Napu Chief Hearing to your call of Alec on Friday, 28th of October 2022, must call me next week, no less, no later than the next Saturday hearing on, on Saturday the 12th of November 2022, when I will close off info of signing before sending our documents and video to the Admiral of the Fleet, Michael Boyce, Lord Brian Boyce, and the House of Lords, Westminster Parliament, to claim the British Crown Trust legal inheritance, that's the trust, you know, the Queen Victoria Trust, that we still have a contract to swipe the whole lot of it off, off them, the whole lot, because we're still tied with our highest authority over the top of a fraud Queen Victoria with these Dutch King Protestants. And that's how it works. Michael Boyce, Lord uh, Brian Boyce, and the House of Lords, Westminster Parliament, to claim the British Crown Trust legal inheritance and make that's the gold, the gold medal, and make it titles for the 250 countries of the world, starting with England, native land returns to the English native surname chiefs after our native title is signed by two Napuhu native chiefs signed for where the flag went to in the world is not limited to one tribe but a whole lot of native born people and the native countries split from the confederation of consolidation of countries amounting to 250 countries under Maori Crown King William IV, Crown Corporation Flag Sovereign Authority, jurisdiction absolute, back under the legitimate King Ernest Augustus V, Augustus the First, um, annual founding of New Zealand Day. Every year we have 20th of March 2023 as a celebration of the founding of this country, really by the King and not these crazy lunatic baboon thugs that are in Wellington Parliament and Government. And uh, there are, after the land wars, native settled people of New Zealand and other separated countries from the United States of America, Queen Corrupt Corporation, the King bankrupts them from now on with the Protestant Tudor Crown Note, Maori Crown Court. Note, that's in the court um, in Awaro, uh, note deck owed bank instruments. Thirteen annual event of King William IV flag founding of New Zealand, 20th of March 2023, as the Confederation of Chiefs Executive, British UK, New Zealand, Federal State Flag Ship Partnership, United Magistrate Council Court ruling. So we're ruling on that to make that an annual event um, from the executive. There is no other confederation executive in this country because I know who is who that was in the confederation and that has all everything intact. There's no other. Please do not argue against the document, video affidavits or court decisions because you haven't got the full story correct. So no one knows how to administer the whole project in its British entirety and especially cremation native title native land title survey instruments and don't try to tell us to prove anything because there's nothing to prove but to legally own what I'm saying as a born native in New Zealand Britain split back into England Ireland Scotland Wales in that order when every other country split from the Queen Crown Corporation Trust and liquidate them with your native land title, England next. Fifteen, it will be up to the natives to register with the Confederation as shareholders in the credit the company Na Atua Ewa On Care Limited, belonging to all native New Zealanders who will gather 
to remove parliament or kill natives of their own under parliament and that's, that's the legal way to do it in uh, Victoria law of the land. So there you go. That's a big one for what we're going to talk about on Saturday. And it won't take too long. I won't, I won't, I won't, I'll only be having a court hearing for the Prime Minister and his wife, the oligarchs, the richest people in Britain, and that's, that's, that's not being elected into, into office. We, we're going to ditch them and elect who we want them there. And that's for Andy and um, Frank McElhelen and uh, anybody else that sticks to us. It looks like Lee Kant and, and Matt Taylor and Drift are all in their own ways. I think Matt went to King Arthur, and uh, so that's where his brain is. And the only one that's following what I'm doing is Frank McElhelen. And it looks like Pat McGuire and... Uh, and uh, um, I, I can't say anybody else because it's it's a long shot to try and pick this one up. And it's only Andy and Frank that understand what I'm talking about. Really, I was the whole lot of them, and I, 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 I can see others who um, who have other ideas of uh, using a native court for their own um, 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 woes or their problems, which will be automatic once um, England gets its native title back to England people, <coughs> not British people, England people, to go and take your land off the Rothschilds and boot them out off your native land first. And then you go and do the same thing with Ireland, with the acorn star, comes from that Frank. Frank has had it all. He's, he's there. And uh, he's there with Paul Brown, Paul Brown and Troy Maguire and Pat Maguire and, and those guys that are familiar with what I'm doing, it's because it's it's there that King William III um, of Orange put his Municipal Corporations Act of mortgage liens on the land to pick up the rent with the eight point star and that's you over there. And then Scotland with the Freemasons with the certificate survey documents that's got the bank loans come out of that and, and so that's Scotland next and then Wales after that which is the old England and so they, 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 they have the law system of England and Wales which is running the whole place back to the native of Wales and the native of England that's Jeff Foley in, uh, in Wales he, 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 he's been with me a long time but um, he's the Admiralty that started the Admiralty in the first place in 300 AD. Ralph Foley's Admiralty is a bit buggy for him, but he has drifted off the other way, he's getting on in age now, and it is a bit hard for him to try and pick up the reins of a king. When we've got a king already, in King Ernest Augustus, he's 68, he might not want to be a king, but his son, is um, 38 and he lives in France so he could be up um, straight on the throne and uh, if we get this native thing around the world sort of out uh, with the flag okay so there that's that's basically all I wanted to say on this video clip and I hope um, I didn't talk too much out but it still seems to be going and I can end the video shortly but uh, that's, that's as much as I can tell you so that you know what's going to be said at the hearing on Saturday. And there may be some people who want to come on from Ngāpū or anywhere in the country. There are people who've been ringing me up and I've spent hours explaining how things work. And there, there is a lot of helpers who want to help me. I appreciate all of that. But this is technical. Th this, this is really legal stuff, and, 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 and we have to sort that out, sort the flag out, before um, getting somebody's head cashed off. And that's the next thing, is to cash off Cook Street, get that one out of the way, cash up Jacinda Ardern's head, get her out of the way, and then it, it'll go from there. And 
the whole thing will click into life and then you'll have Facebook and they've been telling you people to make your friends that cover a lot of area. So the Huffies will, will in this court um, will have control over the Iwi and so that'll be them knocked out. But all those other incorporations still stuck with Queen Elizabeth and Queen Victoria. That they, they, they might want to stay there and 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 live it out because it's a dying race. It's a dying uh, dying race of Maori in Parliament. It's not going to last. It wasn't made to last, and it wasn't made to succeed either. The Maori and the government and, and the government staff set it up to fail, set Maori up to fail so they can steal the Maori land, <coughs> but they can't touch the native land. No way, Jose. Yep, so that's that. I think that's enough because I'm going to go and have some dinner and uh, see if anybody's got some interest with this and um, have some questions about it all. I want questions, any questions from anywhere. I'll answer any single one of those questions that inspires me and um, clear up so we can have a straight line. <coughs> Anything of what the government's doing, why I'm doing this, and why, why, why wasn't the native court working properly up in Ngāpui? And how to fix it up and put it back on track. It's not late. It's never late, but it's no time. There's no time to wait for next year, 12 months later, to people to pick this up. You've got to pick it up straight away. There's no time left. You've got to pick it up and go and just trust that everything is correct. And I'm telling you, it's correct. Everything is God correct. Up there, the straight one, not the Bible, the one up there. Don't believe everything you hear on the Bible because there's too many versions of the Bible. That's why I don't like it. And, and it's war. All, all, all wars are mixed up in the Bible, just like the Pope. It's just war, guns firing all directions because they want to fire anybody from the, what they stole. They want to shoot. In pirates are like that. They shoot people, they gang up and shoot anybody that tries to steal what they've stolen. You see? So then we just use the pound note to pay the military to go after them. That's how we do it. We use what we were given by the king. That's what we do. We use what was given by the king to recover everything that the king set up for the common or the people of the world and not thugs and pirates that the black line and the flag is for to keep pirates out, but they've got it. They've got it and we rip it off them. We rip it off them and we pull it back on them. Put the whole lot of this power on them, back on them, and put them out of business and lock them up. Re re lock for life. Full bloody life. For what they're doing, mass murder, is the worst. That jabby thing is the worst thing I've ever come across in my life where it just happened just like that. In three years, everything went boom because it came out of the stupid lunatic head because the money is driving them to shoot anybody up to get rid of them. Now we use the law boards to shoot them off your land, your native land, and that'll be the end. The more the merrier. The more people that pick this up, the merrier. I can feel uh, in my lifetime that will free up the gen generations coming. I just feel sorry for those people who've been dead. They're gone. They're really going to drop dead in two years' time. And, um, and unfortunately, the Maori people in the, in the Marae trusted them. They trusted them and the stupid bitch that pushed out the Queen's safe in its mouth. You see, she, she's going to get locked up and never let out, never if. And so close to the Hanging Room Change Act 1834, when they were given this way to stop pirates. And the 1834 Act, Hanging and Change Act, I just put it up on my site, what I had put before for people and stacks of all the criminals. I even got the whole of Helen Clark's 
government there. That's when they had the TPPA and the Paul Sean Kiddo. I put them all in there because they all got a trillion pounds on their heads except Hillary Clark with the hundred trillion. And that's the way you can kill the whole lot of those corporate folk and put big notes on their heads. And they got to pay it up. they got to clear it up. You see? So there. That's all. I think that's all. I'm going to come to an end. And just bring this up a little bit. Thank you, people. We'll cross the road and we'll press the end button and bid you a good night. And we'll catch you on Saturday and go through and try and make it short. I'll try and shorten it up. That's why I'm trying to do this now so that I don't have to talk about it and just get into the business. And, um, and Gregory can explain himself and what what went wrong. And, 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 and there's no... There's no other way to fix up uh, something that that has a devastating effect on the whole community and the whole of Ngāpū that didn't get to see me and my message. And they didn't have to see me in person. They just had to hear the four and a half hours of legislation that's legislation in the government house. So now they have to watch it on, on the video and, and and do it that way, and 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 uh, yeah, satisfy themselves that um, it um, it was an event that's supposed to be online for everyone in the world to see how Napuhi does it and how Waikato does it. I can speak for more than the Waikato area, but not in Napuhi. Napuhi speaks for Napuhi, and that's why I picked out Gregory because I thought he would do the honours and make the native course work for Ngāpū. Unfortunately, it didn't. So there, we'll leave it there and wait for Saturday. Okay, good night. See you later.